Hey, and welcome to another software development with Matt video. In this one, this being part three, if I did that the English way, not the German way, part three of the PHP Storm series, I'm going to show you how to use the IntelliSense technology in PHP Storm's database tool to write queries in a sort of much quicker, much more, what would you say, nimble, uh, efficient way than you might doing it purely by hand. I'm not going to plumb into depths of what the tool has to offer, but you'll get a good, a good broad overview of what you can do, how the IntelliSense can speed up query writing for you, and a little bit of a look at the database results table. Anyway, with that, let's dive on in. So to open a console, I'm gonna click this button up here in the, the database tool toolbar and click new console. And now let's type and watch a bit of magic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say select star, I know, naughty, naughty, but don't worry, that'll be corrected because you should never do select star because that's just bad, bad, bad. Select star from, and we'll say what table addresses. But here you see the list of tables pops up. So it saves you from having to write it yourself. So we'll say from addresses. Now we'll format that a bit nicely and we'll come down. Actually, we'll come up and I won't do star. I'm gonna do it, replace that and say select, I think it's ID. And now watch as it does match that column in the addresses table, but it also gives me the list of all the columns in that table. So I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna do that. So now if I do on the Mac anyway, it's command, and enter, I think it's control enter on Windows and Linux, not totally sure, but I'll add that in the show notes for the video. Click that, you see the services tool opens up and it runs the query and you can see the results. But you can see here in nice tabular format, it lays out the results of the query. You can see here just quickly, it's got two rows, but if we had lots and lots, you could set the page size. Uh, what do we got here? I think if I had like 10 records, Per page and I had say maybe anything more than 10 I could paginate to the next page to the last page to the previous page to the first page I uh, think we can reload the query if say I change some data in the database I could add a new row and you can see here because it's a primary key and it's also a sequence it will generate that so I don't have to fill it in uh, we can put in some other records here so I guess let's Let's just do that anyway. Let's put in, oh, and if you note why I've got the, what the, the, the block carrot or the block cursor, I have the Vim plugin going, just in case you're curious. So I'm gonna put in three somewhere street, and we're gonna say that's in uh, the lovely town of Melbourne. Brilliant city, I've gotta tell you that. And that's in Victoria if you're familiar with Australian states and territories. I don't know what that would be. I, th I know is, all I, what I do know is Victorian postcodes do start with three. So whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. Come back down to there, get back into there again. We'll say 3001 just for simplicity's sake. And country ID is gonna be 61 because I based that on the Australian country calling code prefix. So there we go. Now I've done that, I think, I think that's automatically done. I, th I think it's done. No, that doesn't sound right. I think that's actually not gonna hold. Transaction auto, transaction manual. There we go. And now that record, because you see an ID has been generated and it's taken the next sequence from the sequence ID, so it's made it three. Let's get back to the query. So let's say that because you can see here it's country ID and that's nice. But what I wanna do is actually see the country and I think I've got country code, yep. So what we're gonna do is put in country name and country code instead of the country ID. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take that back away. If you're not using Vim, give it a crack. It's really, really awesome. So we're gonna say inner and note, just like um, other, uh, what would you say, like IntelliSense in writing classes, functions, keywords, and so forth, it pops up a suitable option for you. So I'll save myself some time, scroll up to countries, and then, oh, I thought it actually did this. It made it really easy to create the join condition. Where have we got it here? We're gonna say, well, that makes most sense. Country ID, addresses.countryid, 
equals country ID and make sure it's on actually the countries table. There you go. Now that will work and it should give the same result. Yep, three records. But now let's gonna let's put in countries dot country name and countries. Oh, can we do this automatically? Oh no, it doesn't put the table prefix on. But that would work because that's a unique column in the result. But just for sakes of consistency, we're going to change that to that. So now if I run that again, yep, you can see here Australia and AU instead of the country ID. Um, and now look, there's, there's loads and loads and loads more that you could do. I'm not going to kind of plummet in in massive depth. For example, if you're familiar with writing queries, which I guess you are if you're watching this video, you could do something like where you could you could add in a where clause, such as where, um, what would you say? ID between one and two. You could say, you know, you could do all the various conditions and it will pop up suggestions for you. So anyway, that's just my quick overview of, of how to use the database tool in PHP Storm to simplify or speed up writing queries for you when you're writing SQL queries. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to know when more content such as this is coming out on the channel, please consider subscribing. And I would love to hear what you think about this video, about writing queries, about the database tool in PHP Storm in the comments below. And I'll see you in another Software Development with Matt video. Until then, my friend, I'll see you later.